That's where I got his attention and then when I went to Germany, he just showed me the entire plant. Whereas I'm from sales, I can just be in the office, I don't need to see the plant. Right? He showed me the entire he's plant. Uh, he's a high level. It's a real example, I'm not joking. Yeah, at least two people I know have money. Like, other side of the yeah, so there was one person, right? I was cold calling, you know, when I was one of my company. And the first statement, I saw oh, his name. This guy is not from India. Yeah, he's from he's Germany. From Germany. The guy is based in Germany. And I looked at his LinkedIn profile. And I was searching for him. What is it I can use to break the ice and get his attention? Because I need to be different. I don't, don't need to be like, ah, da, 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 da. Okay, I need to be different, be human. So I said, you know, uh, you know, I forgot his name right now, but I, I called him and said, hey, you know what, first of all, I don't even introduce myself. I said, hey, hey, first of all, I just saw your profile on LinkedIn and I love your mustache. See the articulation? I love your mustache. Right? And I mean it. It is not to, you know, to criticize, you know, mock him or, you know, crack a joke on him. Like, I could have said it like, Amol, ha, ha, I love your mustache, man. <laughs> 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 I know you will not do it, but you know, but I said it genuinely and I meant it. You know, he had a long, big mustache, right? You know, then yeah, not so long like Virapan, but yeah, he had, he had quite, quite big mustache than normal. So I said, okay, you know what? I love it. And he said, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I've had it for a long time. You know, it's been more than 15 years, and you know, he just started cracking and he started talking all that. You know, leaving aside why am I calling and all that, <laughs> he started talking about his mustache. That's where I got his attention and then when I went to Germany, he just showed me the entire plant. Whereas I'm from sales, I can just be in the office, I don't need to see the plant. Right? He showed me the entire plant. He's a high level. Right? So he will not even show the plant to high level people. Yeah, yeah. So I had a great time, you know, it's a, a company, uh, Duets or something, name of that uh, German company, manufactures big engines, you know, industrial and engine and you know, making engines. So that's the way you break the ice and catch his attention. Now in your case, when you're calling somebody and you know something about someone, he won a prize, he's got a recognition, he's supporting some NGO, you know, he's got whatever. He's changed the job, I use that also. Hey, congratulations on your job. He says, oh, thank you, thank you. I just started my pitch with that. Congratulations on your promotion. Yeah, hey, congratulations on your promotion, I just, you know, look. Yeah, hey, congratulations. I mean, happy birthday. Congratulations, you were born. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, happy birthday. <laughs> Alright, so break their eyes, okay? And when they are like at that level, I'm sure there will be some of the other information about them. Either the news will be there, article will be there, some award they got. Like, just Google their name. Find something. They deserve some time, right? They deserve some respect. They work for 30, 40 years. At least they deserve like, you know, 30, 40 seconds of your time. Right? So, use that and then you break the ice. You know, catch his attention. Then use the hook. 